trying to start his own distillery. So he's making oh, his own liquor. And nice. he gave me 190 proof. I'll pass. I'm drinking it right now. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you, no, Bachman, you cannot. Yeah, I will not. Liver can't you. Deal with it. Don't do it. But everyone else, I'll drink one for you, Bachman. Okay. It doesn't matter. Especially now that he wants your liver. <laughs> no, yeah. don't. Don't. Take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a Too late. Oh, I have an idea for a mailbag also. What if we all ask each other questions? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing's off the table. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I feel like it'd be fun to ask each other questions. Okay. I have one I have one ready. Oh, okay. well, tweet us. That's the only way to No, get in. it's a new surprise. <laughs> That's the only way to get in. I uh, do we all have audacity open? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So we're live on Twitch now. Hello, Twitch live now. On Twitch. Oh, Twitch. Sorry for the delay. It's been a thing. We we all have body we all have body and mind problems. Yeah. It's just we're... like that um the shares on shirt that has a skeleton skull and it says I have a mind grain. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what we've got going on. So right we're now. only going to, unfortunately, do a mailbag this evening, Twitch people. So, so please go to uh, Twitter and tweet at the most recent tweet with requesting questions. Uh, probably That'll probably be easier uh, than putting them all in the chat. The chat goes so you know fast. The, ch the chat moves so fast. The chat moves you know so fast. fast. So oh, many people. I need to change the name of what we're doing. And, and also... Um, I thought I changed it. Yeah, it still says laser time in space with Bachman. <laughs> which is not entirely inaccurate. I mean, it, hey, man. I mean, it, I mean, are we, it, where's the lie? I mean, there's lasers. We're with Bachman. Mm -hmm. um, I thought I changed that. We are in space if you think about it. That is so true. true. Like, like, the whole planet are, is in space. Right. That's so true. We're just hurtling through space. Michael's drinking straight from a wine bottle. What a big beer he has. <laughs> wow. Um, getting... Also, tag Thrifty Nerd for easy for ease of Because he's entry. reading them. Why is an email in like in the game category section? I can't just put email. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing Outlook. Playing Microsoft Outlook. So, but thank you so much for being here. It means yeah. a lot for me. Thank you guys. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, this is our Star Wars Edge of the Galaxy RP. But in this <laughs> instance, we're all in some uh, back to tank, remembering the questions we answered. We're yeah. we're doing a. Star Wars, like, RP, but inside of that RP is, like, a real-world RP. Yeah. We haven't started recording yet, right? No. Correct. Okay, thank God, because we're all kind of talking like we do whenever we record, so then I got really <laughs> fucking confused. Shit! And I thought, how strong is this liquor? <laughs> that 190 proof is definitely a lot. It's like what? you guys all turned on your podcasting Wait, voice, and now you're not talking yeah, shit about people. It's 190 proof. It's basically 100%. It's, like... Ethanol alcohol. It's That's why you can't cross it's, it. No, it it's taste vodka. Bad? No, it's, it's like vodka. my friend is opening a distillery um, in the woods, yeah. surrounded by bear traps. Yeah, <laughs> raccoons make it for him. No, Jennifer, that's not the joke I'm making. Oh. Yeah, no, sure. Who sure wants does. to start recording? You've seen Shiners with your your daddy. On yeah. go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. We're recording. Recording. Right. recording. We're yeah, you, you can obviously tell that my entire setup is Razor Synapse type stuff. So, <laughs> go ahead oh. and type on, on oh, that shit. keyboard see how loud it is. Pretty shit, son. Loud. Oh, shit, son. Oh. Yo, son, shit. Damn. Uh, I cannot afford that cool stuff. It was my shitty off-brand version. How much that cost you, well, bro? I don't at know, least, 25 cents? At least you guys can <laughs> afford a mouse. I don't even have that. Oh, God, wow. you see poor as shit. She's like, I'm using <laughs> keystrokes like an asshole. I, I have a field mouse on my desk, just <laughs> moving it around. It gets me nowhere. It hates it. You know what? It, uh, my it's mouse broke, so I had to get it. A hey, good one. hey, shout out to everyone in the chat who sat through the entire campaign to Battlefront 2 with me today. That was great. <laughs> you beat it? Time. Yeah, well, I think it sucks. No, it don't. No, it's the good. The campaign's really bad. The campaign was awesome. Are you kidding me? No, it's not. What's wrong with uh, you? We're going to fight. Yeah. It's boring and stupid. Uh, no, I, I thought it was actually pretty good. I don't know. No. I had fun. I like shooting the multi I, I'm the weirdo that actually likes the multiplayer, which makes me the, the bad guy. Well, I haven't played the multiplayer. I also haven't played, like, a campaign for that type of game in uh, probably six years. 
So if you're comparing it to like Call of Duty or like whatever else, like I haven't played yeah. any of that shit. So. Call of Duty. There's a story in Call of Duty. There is. There is. The past couple have had good stories. Yeah. The most I... recent one has a good story. Black Ops Three is weird, uh, but Black Ops Two and One are good. I like yeah. how Tim was the only one who was in a good mood until we forced him to do a mailbag. And then he's now. <laughs> and he's... now he's. We now dragged he him it. down <laughs> into the mire with us. He's like, you like that <laughs> thing? <laughs> I wish if we could, I wish mailbags could happen once a week. I love mailbag. They're so fun. It. Mm. I was being an adult and <laughs> not mentioning it. And Michael, you can't help yourself. Um, but yeah, I, I am the only one that wanted to make content tonight. And here we are, not making content. And since you opened the Pandora's box, creating more stress for all of us throughout the week. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, Tim. No, you don't. I slept through most of that conversation. <laughs> I was also I was asleep when you guys first started uh -huh. IG chatting. I See? took a nap when I got home because I was dying. I was in a good mood until Michael. Because <laughs> I was in a bad mood. And I was fine. And I was working on it. And um, I'm just going to go. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Maybe we should oh, just start the episode. Wait, let, me try, <laughs> let me try that again, but more convincing. No! <laughs> I hate you guys so much. Uh, love you, Tim. This is fun. Love you, love you, Tim. You're a good boy, start Tim. Start the episode. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Are we ready? Is everyone good? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the first beef bag episode. <laughs> It's the beef beef squatch. It's not the first beef episode, no. <laughs> it, is, it would be our first all beef episode. Like all beef, it's all 100% uh, beef. The Tom the, Harper episodes were beef episodes. What was, what's the kind of Kobe beef? 100% Kobe beef. That's the like really That's good, good kind, shit. right? Or yeah. Wagyu. Oh, Wagyu, yeah. Wagyu. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. Let's make some content. I love it, baby. Greetings, adventurers. You have joined us for a special mailbag episode of the Drunks and Dragons podcast. I am your moderator, Michael DeMauro, and with me is my best friend, Tim Lanning. Hey, everybody. It's so great to be here. I'm blessed. Thank you so much for having me. Jennifer Cheek. Hey, everyone. Nika Howard. I'm here. <laughs> And Mike Bachman. My body's slowly killing me from the inside. So we meant to do a, a real episode today, but Bachman is done. Has, no. You know when you say you're sick, you mean you're hungover? Bachman is actually like capital S sick. Yeah. Like I felt like I was hungover. Style sick. Oh, so um, he, if, if the stream crashes out tonight or if he skips town, um, you know, that, that is why. So thank you so much, Bachman, for showing up. Hey, yeah. Uh, all I ask is for your thoughts and prayers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Much like all of the other for? problems in our country. Just shoot Bachman some thoughts and prayers. He has bravely refused to go to the doctor. I have. I will not. Gonna... <laughs> yeah, that's liberal in this, news. That's in this fake. age of WebMD, who needs doctors? Mm -hmm. He's just going to like sprinkle some essential oils on, like put them on the, his right. feet. Yeah, he, uh, and he, he, fix it. he both calls doctors fake news, but is also really into Wicca. So he's, <laughs> he's really kind of mi mixing up two different I ideals. I think here. it's going to work. I think, I, yeah, no, it, I don't think that sucks. He's going to come back bigger work. and better and stronger next time. Oh, I don't stop at the essential oils either. I even go the extra mile and do some of the non-essential oils. Really? You don't have to do, but yeah. it's helpful. Yeah, option, the Coconut. optional oils? Yeah, the op yeah. <laughs> it's packed with optional oils. <laughs> what kind of oils do you think those would be? Like, what is an unessential oil? No, I think it's only coconut. Like, to make, to make, no, that's, that's essential. Castor? Like, Oil, <laughs> say castor oil, uh -huh. <laughs> fish. Yeah, oh, no fish oil. Oh, that's so that's real. Can that I give you guys a one? hot tip on someone or on something to do if you really don't like someone? Yeah, take fish oil pills and uh, pin pop them so <gasps> that's not totally open, and then rub it on whatever you want. Preferably, if you can get into their car and rub it on the inside <gasps> of their vents, Ooh. because it smells like rotten fish when it gets real hot. 
Um, uh-huh. But there's no, there's nothing for them to get rid of. Right, Damn. they can't find it. And well, if you really, if you really <laughs> don't like them, you just gotta kill them. You oh. just gotta, yeah. Well, the Drunks and Dragons podcast does not condone murder um, at all, and that was a, a hilarious bit. <laughs> That was a, one of our classic bits that we do, where we tell you to do crimes. <laughs> we, 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 have you guys tried money laundering? <laughs> Y'all really talking about paying your taxes? Oh, no. No. One of the Even things. Islands. One of the things when I, I logged into Guild Wars Two again recently and re- looked at That's my character crime. names, and the like in their in their terms when you're doing your character name, it said it literally says like your character name cannot contain any crimes. So a bunch of us was like named yeah. all, named all our kids with like with like money laundering or wire fraud. <laughs> wire fraud's a good name. <laughs> Guys, can I kick off the questions? Yeah. What's the most sure. boring crime that you can name your character after in Guild Wars Two? <laughs> Is it wire fraud? <laughs> usury. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm not sure what user he is. Uh, Just in the same way, I don't know what a comptroller is. <laughs> what about in some in some states? I think like Florida and let's just call it the South. Uh, butt sex is illegal to keep, to arrest gays when they need to do it. I feel like there's also <laughs> the thing of like you can't walk your elephant in on, oh, on the those third night of the moon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's very long. Or like the law the in Boston that um, you can't buy alcohol on certain holidays, which Memorial Day is coming up, so we probably yeah, we gotta make sure our liquor <laughs> supplies stop up. up. So normally we're a fifth edition actual play uh, Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Uh, you can find us on iTunes and Spotify, and then other places that we don't care about as much. Yeah, and, um, and, and if I mean, you, like, all, all, all power to you if you use it. But if you um, find that we only have eighty six episodes of Spotify. Just keep clicking episodes in order and things like that. Their search they're is currently there. broken. It's very stupid. But they're all there. They're all I looked there. today. We're at number three on in games and Spotify. Oh, Ooh, we used to be number one. <laughs> and then they added more podcasts. <laughs> well, you know, what can you do? Stop doing that. Um, so we're doing a mailbag tonight because, you know, sometimes when you do 265 episodes of a podcast, you sometimes you have to do a mailbag. Yeah. People have burning questions and they want to know things like, uh, Scary Susie would like to know, uh, what has been your favorite in-game moment so far? Oh my goodness. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite in, oh my, I feel like I need to like think about this some more because I'm sure I'm not thinking about all the good shit that has happened. I'll say, I'll save mine until Tim gets back. <laughs> Was it the Tom Harper episodes? <laughs> I just gonna name all the times I killed this character. Yeah. Um, um, how about you, Mike Bachman? What's been your favorite um, moment? Putting you on the spot right away. Tell him is it something I did? I hope it's something I did. Uh, my, <laughs> I'm, I'm. Maybe you guys don't know this about me, but I'm super selfish, and it's always uh, big moments for me that I remember. Uh, <laughs> and I, I think, I think. That when when Michael and I have worked on something in the background that's super shady, and then we finally get to reveal it, and Tim gets so mad, <laughs> and I, like, I think that that's um, that's just mm, very good, um, like the whole uh, uh, the bananas foster like the trip the trip <laughs> the time period between Tom and Jet I think is probably. <laughs> My absolute favorite <laughs> time period. Like, y'all remember Bear Charger? That shit was good. <laughs> oh, God. Bear Charger was good. I think that recently, I, I really think that the the Ben Dilladog episodes were so fucking Those, good. Oh, God, those was, are like, very good. They were like, just the last episodes. But, like, when I realized what was happening, like, I, yeah, I think it's the moments when, like, Michael builds a thing, and, like, it takes us a little bit to, like, understand what's going on, and they're like, oh, shit, now that's what he's doing. Except you knew who it was, like, before... I was, like, goofing, though. I didn't really think it was. I was like, oh, no, he really is doing it. He, he really would is. never do... <laughs> <He> um, <laughs> Tom Bombadil. 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 Surely not. But he did it. Michael, he goes there. Nika, do you have any favorite moments? Um, I have a lot, but I feel like it's any time you bring an NPC back that I love. Like, um... 
anytime Lucan comes on. Yeah. That makes me laugh real hard. And then also I really like the the Tom Harper ones are really funny. And the yeah. the like the ones where we were wrapping up Aludra and Jayla's stuff. Like that was really it wasn't funny, but I thought oh, that yeah. that was really good. Yeah, and I don't know, was it was really just good. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. No, that was really uh it was just really like special to to RP, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Because we don't, because we're not serious on the show very much, so it was like cool to get to yeah. do something more serious and, and I, I emotional. Think I, I like a lot that we do have a lot of heart uh, yeah. hidden in there, um, and I think that sort of bouncing off of that, like you guys always have such great reactions and stuff that I think I think that does so much to like help the pot like the the fucking ben dilladong stuff <laughs> would, if you just like took my track and played it it like would not have been funny you that is so not true, true. You so you that is not true. <laughs> you guys like had such amazing reactions and it just like and it was it was wonderful michael shut up hey <laughs> hey that was so funny what did you guys say? I left. Oh, no, we're not going to repeat it because you left. No, what did you guys say? I left. <laughs> we all said that um, that we loved all your characters. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's the correct exactly answer. Well. Mine was the Bachelorette episodes. Those, were, those were really good. Oh, those, yeah, that was a lot of fun. The uh, David edit version because they're much, much better than the live version. Uh, David edit of the Bachelorette. Episodes, right? Oh, all right. Um, I was nervous about uh, bringing Ghost Harper. Because I, it was just supposed oh, to be like shit, a one-off. That one was so off. good too. Um, <laughs> my number one thing to do, I think I've been pretty consistent on uh, saying, is I want to make Nika cry either from laughter <laughs> or from whatever else. And uh, being uh, making uh, Nika gross cry, as she described it, <laughs> was probably the highlight of my life, not just podcasts. <laughs> I actually think, like, as far as like general motivations, like for both for like characters but also like as yourself like uh, like playing characters like looking for like certain reactions from your player character like your people you're playing with is probably not a bad thing to to, to try for actually oh is this the conductor seat <laughs> i'm just thinking about it you know oh, bring out your pencils everyone you no. should be playing for your characters not or for your fellow players not your dm That's yeah a good tip. i feel like i've been thinking i actually was just this morning for work reasons i listened to um a speaker a guy from pixar <laughs> talking about storytelling so oh, I was like, because I was like, no, he literally did talk about. He talked about what he like helped write that fucking sad shit and up. Like, why? I don't like him though. No, it's good, but it's good though. It's not, like it made me think more about like. I, I obviously I was just be using this for my nine to five job, but I was like, I'm using all this shit for my. <laughs> deep this is free learning, um, fool. But yeah, no, he was talking about how like the release of like what what is the good the good um, like chemical do dope dopamine dope 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 and then the, the other one when you're sad like getting like a good like up and down of those two together is like what makes like a That's really powerful it makes hmm. a powerful story. And I feel like we, we do that. Like there's a lot more Sweet. funny in ours, but then that's how we get Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I think I... Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I think uh broad strokes, we are painted as just fucking crazy people. But that's unfair uh, to all the people we've made cry throughout the day. I mean, um, that's um, true. We are uh, by design more zany because I think our goal is to show you how much zany fun you can have when you play D and D, mm and -hmm. how little rules you need to play D and D. But occasionally, we like to get into uh, that the other uh, three emotions, which is horny, hungry, and sad. <laughs> Those are the only ones. <laughs> We, we were talking about making a cookbook today, so there oh, you man, go. Oh, we were talking about a cookbook. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the horniest cookbook. Yeah. Jimmy, yeah. So many dicks. Um, this next question comes from uh, Thrifty Nerd on Twitter. That's it's you. Mike, what? It's for Mike Bachman. <laughs> what? It's, it's, um, it says, when you designed Bananas Foster to die um, <laughs> in one or two episodes, and you were, and, did you do it because you wanted your dungeon master to get almost daily tweets uh, telling him he's a piece of shit. Oh God, it's so hard. It's so hard for me because I want nothing but uh, nothing but pain for you, Michael, uh, and for your for your life to be miserable. Um, but uh, I I have gone on the record numerous times 
One, maybe that... one and a half times. <laughs> no, I have absolutely. I mean, they've been in one-on-one -on -one conversations. Maybe I've never said it publicly. Uh, <laughs> but enough that, you know, word of mouth, it should have traveled. No. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure I've tweeted it. I must no. have tweeted it. Yeah. Say, now. <laughs> say, say what? <laughs> um, you see, things like this are complicated. <laughs> but as Foster was always going to die, you fool. You he was born to die. Yeah, it's embarrassing like that you guys didn't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> and then got mad at me. Oh, boy. Uh, I will say that I do love Hate Bachman for his expert trolling of uh, Michael on that. I think the right answer in, is both never admit it and also admit it. It's one of those weird <laughs> different dimension tried. things. In the episode, he tries so hard not to die. <laughs> Well, I, because that, well, the thing is, we had because we planned like a certain way for him to die, uh. and I don't remember what it is now, but it was not a crate of bananas. That shit was on because <laughs> Tim, Tim of his own volition, told bananas to go down there and get the crates. So that had like there, we couldn't plan for that, and I just <laughs> rolled bad, and now bananas is dead. So like you know, it's not. That's some, that's some weak shit. shit. Uh, <laughs> all I know is I, final destination when I finally go to the dentist and trick them to also be my therapist, uh, a, a good chunk will be on those episodes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom dying episode will be like three months and then the other episodes will be uh, several more months. Um, our good friend Jane Ritt on Twitter uh, says... If you could only play one D and D class for the rest of your life, what would it be? <gasps> Wizard. Damn. I have a soft spot for Tiefling Rogues. I know that's just a race and a class, but that's the first one I've ever played, and I've tried to successfully play a rogue since then, and they always die within like five <laughs> games of playing. <laughs> So I've kind of stopped, but I would love to play a real cool ass rogue and do fun stuff. I feel like I actually have always have a lot of fun when I play Warlocks. Like, really, I, any, like, magic character, I yeah. tend to really like a lot. Anything that allows me to, uh, I don't know, summon a, a, a ominous bell and point at someone, and then they just, like, are injured. <laughs> yeah. The, like, that's my shit. The uh, flavor text to so many Warlock abilities are just are so unbeatable. Good. It's like It's like the share zone in D&D. &D uh, class form. Right, like Eldritch <laughs> Blast is similar to exactly. like the Fire Blast or whatever it is, the can the Fire Cantrip, whatever that's called. It's much better for Warlocks, of course, but like, it's still similar, but you know, all the other things Warlocks can do, it's add that extra layer of like, it has bugs now, or there's a skeleton. Yeah, I feel like when I when I get to play one-off characters, I'm always like, ooh, Warlock. <laughs> I want to do that. I, I would probably pick a magic user of some kind. I think yeah. probably I probably wizard. Yeah. You can go forever with that guy. Wait, can we not yeah. multi-class? <laughs> Bobby loves a multi-class. That's his thing. Because I would, yeah, no, a multi-class I think is very good because that's where shit gets broken. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I because if that if that's the case, if I can't if I can't multi-class, yeah, probably wizard, just because you get so many options. Um, but if I can multi-class, I would, I would play bananas for the rest of my life happily. <laughs> not... What class was bananas? I don't even remember why he Do was. Do you remember? Yeah, he was like, he's multiple classes. I mean, I'm going to have to look it up. I, I, I do think Bananas would be the right answer. A horrible because, chimera of a character. Yeah. <laughs> See, he's still doing it. He's, try, he makes it. he's making it sound like he wants to play bananas. I do want to play bananas. He makes it sound like he knows what bananas can do. <laughs> no, okay, so now, like, was it, was it Michael's fault that bananas died? Was it anybody's fault other than, <laughs> other than mine? No, absolutely not. Is it everyone else's fault that I can't play him now? Absolutely. Most I would totally play him fault. now. <laughs> Yeah, I, mostly I the listeners. I don't really remember what Banana's, like, actual abilities were, but I imagine him having, like, the abilities <laughs> of, like, say, a mechanic. Like, the, it's like something that's not D&D. No, he was so this, a this, troll this, class. Yeah. <laughs> this thing in D&D, uh, in &D, right? Where is it, am I wrong that it's a skill monkey? Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then Mike Bachman thought that that was, took that very literally. Yes. <laughs> the, the thing is, the race was not ape. 
It was something else. And Bachman didn't read the thing. So I was it's, like, oh, it's the yeah, it doesn't matter. See, it's all about theater of the mind and house <laughs> rules. Okay, here's what Bananas was. He was a Rogue One, Bard 6, Ranger 1, Warlock 3, Cleric 1. <laughs> It's the perfect class. It's like, you, cannot, you can't improve upon it. The perfect oh, okay. class is all of them. You got just yeah, like the time you ordered an everything milkshake from uh, cookout. <laughs> but I'm not allowed to go to North Carolina. Yes, he, he has so many skills in the double digits. Yeah, <laughs> persuasion he's, he's is thirteen. <laughs> uh, Turtle Oversight asks, "Did you ever expect the podcast to reach this point?" No. 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 <laughs> Absolutely not. Next question. <laughs> what have you got planned for the future? Nothing. Huh? Next question. Will it run Secret. its course or keep growing? Hopefully keep growing. Yeah. Really? We would like it to be. Yeah. It could get a lot bigger than it is, believe it's, me. It's terrifying. It's weird because um, if you look at the charts, we are uh, number one of the non-famous people. But the issue <laughs> is that critical an adventure zone are just light years ahead of us which makes me depressed for shows that are not us because whatever depression i feel based on where we are they probably feel that a lot more <laughs> um now everyone's sad yeah i feel more sad because of other people um it's weird because when we first started we never thought it would be much we had I would argue uh, Michael, Jennifer, and I had um, um, decent cast of throne success. So yeah. I knew that we would skip a lot of the bullshit of growing an audience. Also, at that time, there was all of one other um, uh, actual play podcast, uh, uh, Critical Hit. Uh, please uh, give it up have, to OG. There may have been a couple other like small ones. Yeah, but the only popular one was Critical Hit. Right. Um, and then once a year was... Um, um, Acquisitions Inc. So, or uh, I guess the Penny Arcade. Right, 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 right. So at the time, like when I learned to play D and D, I listened to Critical Hit. That's all it really was. Uh, maybe if I dug super down deep, there's someone else. Like there's definitely the, the Tome Show that is popular. Yeah, that's, that's been going for a long time. Uh, but when we started, we didn't. You know, thinking back on how hard it is to be successful, one of the main things is just being in the right place at the right time, and looking back at it i realized that we were lucky but back then we we never you know thought of it that way we were just mm -hmm. we just fucking charged ahead with not knowing shit <laughs> and, right well we definitely did because we wanted to just have fun right i yeah. mean oh I mean, yeah there was, there was some thought of like oh game of thrones is only on 10 weeks a month wouldn't it be nice to yeah right to do something else do something yeah. else but i don't think we thought it was yeah gonna... i was getting sick of game of thrones i can tell you that much <laughs> yeah and Bob was like i don't watch the show please, please stop let me off mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if the question was asking about like where we see ourselves in the future as far as like what we would like to do i think it'd be very fun at some point for us to like start with level one characters again like i think i think we a lot of those questions come <laughs> Oh, okay. So then I, yeah. I think we've answered that question that. before, but I, the the vague plan has always been to uh, keep this current campaign to level twenty, mm -hmm. and then start over at level one. Start right. in slabs, probably yeah. in the same world. Yes. Maybe a different time, but maybe right. not. Like maybe Eludra is still queen, but there's, mm -hmm. um, but you know. There's other little level ones running around doing cool right. stuff. Maybe we right. see bananas when he was only a bard too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm staying over here. Um, uh, that's that's more or less what it is. I, you know, there's so many small things we could do to grow. Right now, the issue is there's so much competition that it it feels weird to be able to pick just one thing. Um, and I also don't really. Uh, please don't take this as. Uh, there's actual. Com I don't consider any other show competition. I consider it a community, right? Because most of the time, when new shows start, our numbers go up. Um, I'm nervous that there's going to be a homogenization of listeners, meaning we're going to top out and then everyone's going to catch up to us, which is totally fine. We have great success, and I'm very happy. But um, as far as like becoming, you know, getting a, a TV show or a movie or quitting our jobs. Uh, <laughs> That's not in the cards. Yeah. 
Not currently, but not currently. come on, guys. Who knows? That's always the goal. I mean, you can always quit your job, right? I would love it if we could do that. So then I, I have to be again. <laughs> yeah. I like having health care. Mika and I, uh, the other many moons ago, several months ago, um, after a chat in the main uh, uh, Drunks and Dragons G chat, came up with some fun theoretical. Uh, new campaign characters, yeah, and it made me so horny to get XP in this one to get to the new thing because it seems so much fun. But you know, it's, but we're milestones. It's... Exactly, so we can't grind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, speaking of famous people and actors, uh, Inga Doctor asked if you could have any improv actor improv slash actor join as a permanent part of your game, who would it be and why? Oh my I god. I selfishly want to say no one because then everyone would love them. <laughs> no? uh, yeah. I picked the worst one. Oh my god. Yeah, but Era <laughs> Reed. <laughs> <laughs> um any like so many people from Comedy Bang Bang, I would like die to have them like, on here. Lauren like Lauren Paul Lapkus. Tompkins or Lauren Lapkiss. James Adomian. James Adomian is probably the correct answer because like, he any, does character so well. Any of them, I would, I would lose my mind. Like, Remember when Paul of Tompkins said our name on the other oh show? My oh my gosh! gosh. <laughs> oh. And I quote, "There's no way that's not real." Uh, Paul of Tompkins about our wonderful show. Oh my god! He was quizzed um, for some weird reason on the it internet. Was a YouTube oh. show that was oh. actually really cool. I, I don't know. I don't think she'd ever do it, but I think it would be really, really fun to play with Chelsea Peretti or yes. uh, mm. Aubrey Plaza. I would love playing with them. Oh God, yeah, that would be really good. Yeah, I'd want. That'd be amazing. I'd want Tina Fey. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> <Going classic. laughs> okay. mm. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, James Adomian. What what what, uh, what about Andy Daly? To oh, play fuck! One of that'd his be also incredible. Characters? Oh, maybe <laughs> Walton Dalton Wilcox. Yeah, I think oh. I think I think Scott Ackerman would probably also be MVP because he's yes. so good at not taking the focus, but just being so powerful. I feel like you'd be mad at him because of the way that he is. Oh yeah, no, but in, <laughs> but I would be mad in the good the good because mess. he'd be like he would like derail everything constantly. To like ask a million questions, right? Like, but he's so smart that he would be doing it in a good way. It wouldn't. True. It wouldn't be just to to fuck with. Just him. Not not yeah. like us. <laughs> yeah, not like you guys. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on! I got it. Kel Mitchell. Eh? Eh? <laughs> no, no, here we go. <laughs> oh, here it goes. The guy who played Maurice Moss on uh, who played Moss on the IT Crowd. I guy? haven't watched that. Oh, something Iote I- or whatever. It's his name is very hard to say, which is why I'm not saying it. It's Richard. Yeah. A- yeah, oh, that guy. Yeah. Um, they oh, had they had a, good, they had a D&D one. episode where they played. Yes, D&D. it was very you good. Know, you know who else would be good? Taika Waititi. Yeah, I, I mean, let's not split hairs. I would give up one of my balls. I have no use for them, um, <laughs> other than that's where a pee is stored. Uh, <laughs> For Matthew Mercer, it's not. Yeah. Oh my god, I couldn't even handle being on a stream with him. Like he would pop up and he would say something, and I would literally melt into the floor and I would <laughs> fucking die. Yeah. Well, I, at this point, I only want to meet Matthew Mercer to kill Nika, uh, <laughs> just to make her, uh, her jealous. He was, he was within like fifty feet of me at Gen Con, and I missed him. And I feel like that's such a weird, creepy thing to say. I'm sorry, but yeah. I would love to be DM'd by like Mike Murrells, uh or no, Jeremy Crawford. I think I would. I think it goes Jeremy Crawford, then Mike, then Matthew to be DM'd mm-hmm. uh, in a game with them. But how about how about the the guy who played Salem the Cat on Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Oh, <laughs> who played him? By the way, in case you in case y'all haven't figured it out, this is me saying I don't know who most of these people you guys are talking about are. <laughs> do you think the do you think Salem the Cat is dead? Yeah, he was animatronic. He was always no. Dead. He was a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not. Uh, in, if you follow the comics, like well, the Archie comics lore, the manga, he's the not. Yeah. Age, which manga? Uh, we've got two questions from Redacted Canon. This first one is for Tim and Jen. What is your favorite JoJo? <gasps> uh, my favorite JoJo is Josuke. My favorite JoJo is Grandpa JoJo. 
That's a good one. That's my second favorite. Both when he's young and when he's grandpa. But my favorite JoJo character is Gyro Zeppeli from Steel Ball Run. Uh, I also like original JoJo a whole lot. Oh, boring. <laughs> I think he doesn't get enough love. Uh, he's very large. They also ask, uh, do you have you guys ever wanted to go back to fourth edition? I can no. go ahead and say no. I, I, okay, so sometimes I miss a little bit of the crunchy, like, okay, I've got everything lined up just correct, and I'm this many spaces away, like, the satisfaction yeah. of, like, but there's, doing it right. Yeah, but, but that's why I play Fire Emblem. But there's a <laughs> lot of that we could still do. Every spell we have or attack has feet. Everything has, like, a cone or a blast or whatever. So we could still do sure, a lot sure. of that, but we just don't. Uh, the voice of Sal and the cat's not dead. I was so convinced he was dead, and he's not. <laughs> I don't know why. I just felt like it. Only 90 kids. <laughs> um, this one is from Pond I didn't Slam get to say Daddy. who my favorite JoJo was. We wasn't it was, for you. That see, wasn't our question, Bob. Oh, but if you guys have an opinion. What about oh. your opinion on 4th edition? Uh, oh, I don't have an opinion on 4th edition. I only have an I, opinion on JoJo. I like rules, so. <laughs> but I hate 4th edition. <laughs> <laughs> so no. But. You want 3.5, or you want Pathfinder? I want 3.5 or Pathfinder. Um, Pun Slinger Maddie says, uh, in Lonnie's Ferret of Holding, does she have a full bar or just elven wine? <laughs> I think she'd probably have a full bar because she is someone who wants to just imbibe all that is naughty, I guess. Um could she, like, uh, make mixed drinks come out of it? Like, here's gin and tonic. I think she could. I don't see why not. <laughs> There's a little tiny bartender in there that's, like, <laughs> all of the things. I like how you <laughs> just <laughs> slipped into Lonnie just a little. <laughs> okay, I'm already drinking this much. <laughs> so, I'm getting there. Nick is on that ferret juice tonight. <laughs> yeah. In place of Lonnie. <laughs> Uh, this person whose name I think is Mark Bennett asked. Okay. Asked, <laughs> Mark, it's always good hearing from you, Mark. Um, what is your wildest theory about the story? What do you guys think is going on right now? I won't answer this one. I feel like, and Michael, you go first, actually. No, yeah, I can't. Can I know what's <laughs> happening. I will say this. What? Michael is consistently... A, an, a, an, an incredibly great story teller and composer, meaning uh, he does good oh. in the moment and he does good at the uh, outset of uh, setting up the structure of it. The structure of it. Thank you. Thank um, you he's very attractive. He looks great okay. in the shirt. All right. I, I do feel like I don't even feel like I can like give a crazy theory because yeah. I, I'm always so pleasantly surprised. Like yeah. I, the only way I can describe it is like when Michael will like drop like stories and I'm just delighted by it. Yeah. So like I don't even want to like guess too much. After watching the television program Lost, I kind of stopped trying to figure out media that I enjoyed, and in this case, the media I enjoy, which is our show fun game it's our, our campaign um i don't i actually don't look to the future I, you know like when adira showed up in the evil episode i didn't realize it because i just you know i kind of i try to segment my brain a little bit to be right like, right be here and now don't try yeah. to because whenever i i whenever i try to figure out what michael's doing i feel like i accidentally get in a shitty place where I'm like trying to like one up him or trying to like outsmart him and like that's bad for me personally that's bad for him that's bad for the listeners that's bad for everybody it's a bad it's a, a bad habit yeah that's true I, I definitely try to stay in the moment like yeah. as my character so I don't I don't want to think too hard about what the potential plot could be yeah, yeah Michael things at face value is probably not a terrible idea yeah. <laughs> and and Michael has uh and his weird sense of guilt that he has, where he both roasts me on air, but afterwards <laughs> sends me 12 G chats apologizing, uh, has told me a small amount of things. So I don't want to uh, get too deep on those. Anyone else? Hey, we're all good. Mm -hmm. I just, I try not, I do the same. I just try to play the game because whenever we watch like, horror movies or any show or anything like that i'm the opposite of tim and we always try to figure out 
what's happening and what's going on. So it's nice whenever we play D&D to just, one, I feel like if I paid, not paid attention, if I followed like story clues and everything as a player or as a listener, then I would probably have a lot more insight to it than if I just play the game and experience yes. it yes, as absolutely. my character. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's more yeah. fun that way. Yeah, so and that can be surprised. And... I think that's why sometimes listeners get a, a very small percent frustrated when we don't figure things out because yeah. listeners oftentimes binge or whatever. Uh, I, I'm not going to say they are not in the moment the same way that we are, um, but but it is different. that is kind of sort of <laughs> yeah. different than how it is. And it's fun just to experience, like Jennifer said, it's fun to experience the story. And if something's a surprise, it's fun to be surprised or it's fun to be shocked or happy yeah, when something happens definitely. instead of trying to figure it out. Like when Michael drops a big thing and then is like, and that's where we're going to end it and be like, yeah. what the shit? Yeah. Like, that is like one of the top feelings in the game and the podcast. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I know that it's a tough job to be the DM. And even if this wasn't recorded, uh, uh, giving your DM the oh my god holy shit moment of you dropped a thing I'm sure you're excited about the thing of which you dropped therefore giving you the gift of freaking out is is the least we could do it is a gift a gift freely given <laughs> uh, I'm going to switch over to some Matthew Morris questions oh, yay <laughs> that didn't quite got a few. lot of those to get through <laughs> uh, I'm not going to read the first one because we're not helping you plan your wedding uh, <laughs> Uh, the second one, I think this is a fun question. What do all the players like to do when the DM, Michael DeMauro, makes them take off their headphones? Oh, I check Twitter. Yeah, I check Twitter <laughs> or Instagram or whatever notifications. Yeah. Uh, Twitter and Marvel Puzzle Quest. <laughs> I, I pray to whatever god I worship at that moment that I never have to put them on again. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna call me back. This time. You know, we won't need you for the rest of the night. You can just like actually just like take a, take a rest. I don't want to show up. I still want to. I still want to collect that check though. So <laughs> damn <that's> true. <laughs> uh, what is the most embarrassing thing you have ever done on a recording? Oh God. It's okay. telling my most embarrassing story. <laughs> no, not what you regret the most. No, that's the most embarrassing because that, that, that turned into the daily. most. It, yeah, it really did because I get people who, please, after listening to this, do not do this, tweet at me <laughs> at an almost daily basis about it. I love getting rose gold or year appropriate tweets. I, I hate getting. <laughs> Embarrassing story. You're, you're a mammoth. Put a disclaimer in that episode. Be nice to Nika. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask to see Nika's feet. And also don't. No, please Nika. do. <laughs> if no, Nika. Pay, this, you pay. A lot of people are very horny for Nika. So, so for we got to we gotta control it a little bit. Nika there needs to be a middle ground. Like, if you're going to ask Nika for feety pics, you've got to give her money, though. Yeah, like, please. Listen, I, I bought you every single Battlestar Galactica expansion. I know you have. You better buy her like a big diva statue. Yeah, yeah. It's on my Amazon wish list. <laughs> like, yeah. and then maybe you get a feety pick. Then you get a feety. Then you're allowed to be like, oh my god, the you're feety my sweeties. You're my my dream. Uh, and maybe hey, how about this? How about we do it for both? You can either say, oh, I, I would give anything to be your bra, or I would be anything to be the toilet. Of which destroyed <laughs> with your name dumb. But you've got to buy. You've got to show proof if you're going to tweet it. Yes. You got to. You got to tweet it with a receipt of that diva statue on right. Amazon.com. And it has to be like diminishing returns because the first person that does it has to buy the diva statue. The second, like by the like number nine, you buy your socks. But like, for, <laughs> Nick, but you got to get more expensive things yeah. on your. your oh shit! Well, don't list. start with the diva statue. Yeah. No, do start with the diva statue because and then expensive. go up from there. Yeah. Uh, can I put a Tesla on my Amazon wish list? Do it. <laughs> there is actually uh, no wait to get pictures of my feet. Just putting that out there. If you want to just uh, slide into my DMs. If, I got a weird fungus you me... can check out. Maybe you got ideas. <laughs> if you want to buy me some Sunday Riley good jeans, uh, I'll give you a picture of my feet. I'll fucking tweet you my balls, man. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you just do it. Give me board games, dog. <laughs> I'll jack off. I don't care, man. Hell. Jeez. <laughs> oh, 
Anyone else want to talk about things? <laughs> what was the question? Oh, I have... <laughs> oh, I... I'm sure I've had, like, a lot of them, but I can't think... Mine was uh, falling, as uh, passing out during Durrance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I think I... mine was also during Durrance, but I, I think it was successfully edited out before it ever got anywhere. <laughs> yeah, so, in my defense, I was way too drunk for that Durrance, but then I went and listened to it again, you guys knew I was drunk, and mostly Jennifer, when she knows I'm drunk, she fucks, which doesn't fuck with me. She doesn't give me the time of day, and <laughs> so if I say something that she doesn't understand, she'll just like, what do you, oh my god, what are you saying? <laughs> and like, listening to it back, I was like, wait, the thing I said made total sense, but, but since I was drunk, Jennifer's like, oh, he doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> I did not know that you were blacked out during that. Right, I'm usually pretty good. There's only like two times that I was really embarrassed, but um, the other times were Jennifer's fault. If it makes you feel any better, Tim, my goal, much like you seeing me cry, is you being that drunk <laughs> to play a game with you because I've never done that. Oh, that's true. Whenever right. we do Norhal, you guys are like, get fucked up. Get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Ever I, since Durrance, I've controlled it. I think my most embarrassing is when I missed like a whole one of our episodes because I was watching Army Wives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic. Really? <laughs> I kind of owned that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was pretty embarrassing at the time, though. I, don't know. I just think oh, it's God. funny that you told us it was Army Wives. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got I got nothing to hide. It doesn't mean that I that I don't want to die every waking moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> He's an open book, and he wants to die. What happened that time that you called us from uh, Times Square? Oh, that was good. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I was just, I was just in New York. I think I was in New York for my birthday. Your birthday yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah. y'all, y'all knew I wasn't gonna be there, but then I was no, like, I, I was like, I was fun. Did. Do you remember? I, when, I, I never know. Uh, do you remember when we uh, recorded the episode and you were at a park on a picnic bench and it got dark outside? Oh no, no that, that was, was a friend's house. I was at, uh, that was where. Yeah, you went outside. I was in the woods. Yeah, that was a good thing. I remember that. I had a long stream of like recording in weird places, and then I did it out in the woods that time. And I yeah, I, that was good. Yeah, hit rolls. And then I wanted to. Um, a buddy of mine has a boat, and we were gonna get like. <laughs> We we're gonna get a hot spot and like oh get I was gonna get like a shitty laptop that I didn't care about and I was gonna record like on this boat and then at some point stage it where like I knock the laptop off like <laughs> accidentally and you get, and you guys get like a split second of in the water video before That's it cuts hilarious. out. And I, I, sure I want uh, I want that so bad. But that friend's well, unreliable and it never panned out. Yeah, well yeah. Could you just do it by a bathtub? Yeah. <laughs> just just yeah, record all your the bathtub. We it, have a bathtub. It's your boy Bachman recording from the shitter, taking a big <laughs> old dump. It's gonna take me all night to squeeze this one out. Oh. Cool. Um, are we good? Moving on? Yeah, we answered it. Okay. Uh this this quick one. If you have to make sweet sweet love to a dragon, what kind of dragon would you want to romance and get go to the bone zone with? Is it a uh, what color, essentially? I don't know. What wow! Don't it. forget There's the metallic ones. ones. I don't see. Chromatic color. is evil. Metallic is yeah. Red, blue, okay, white, yeah. black, green. Those are the silver. evil ones. Then I'm, like, I'm a dragon lance right kid. I want white, silver. Like oh my god! Red? You took mine. God damn it! <laughs> you did have it too. It's the right answer. I know. I want whatever Yazdir was. That's. I think she was silver. She was yeah. silver. Yeah. That's what I want. I want silver because of uh, um, dragon lance. You guys can have Yazdir. Okay. Even though Travis well, made really good art of her. Yeah. I want coral. Hmm. Maybe like Millennium, a nice Millennium 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 egg shell. I'm going, I'm going red. Oh, Ooh, this guy. You like just want to fuck Pyre? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a bad girl right there. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. It, the, the, the evil people, they know how to fuck. Yeah. yeah. If, fiery I could, like, second would be a, a black dragon. <laughs> yeah. Not to steal from chat, but blue eyes white is also a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, more Matthew questions. There's one about getting fit. Just go to Giggly Get Fit on Twitter. That's still a thing, right? It is. Well, yeah. it, sometimes it's still. <laughs> it's around. I wore it my is... to work out the other day. Good. I wore it to sleep in. It is definitely still a thing. I still work out. I just don't manage it. And sleeping That's is fun. so healthy. If you, <laughs> you, got, you gotta sleep. Oh, One of the God. best things you could do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds really uh, good. 
Drunks and Dragons just got picked up for a 10 episode Netflix series. Congratulations. <laughs> Who would you like to play your player characters on the show? Me. I was like, oh, I've already answered this, but I answered that for Ludra, not for Rowan. Oh my god, who could play Rowan? Oh, yeah. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Me. Oh my god, oh my god, I got. I watched her face. Uh, Aaliyah Shawcat? Who's that? Oh, fuck. Uh, Maybe from Arrested Development. Yeah. Oh, she cute. That'd mm. be good. She would be amazing. Yeah, she'd be real good. The ratio sands. He'd be so good for Frank. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's either him or Bobby Moynihan, so you know. Either oh way. my God! <laughs> Wait, are we picking to play us or our characters? Your characters. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my answer for all of my characters. Okay, I was like, wait, that's not as good. Oh, also, yeah, someone in the uh, uh, Discordian talking in the chat suggested Stephanie. Beatrice oh no, Rana. Stephanie Beatrice is uh, um, Nick. Nick. Yeah, that's true. Yes, yeah, she could be Nick's. Yeah. yeah, she could do Rowan too. I feel like she's got range. She I have actually never seen her act in anything else. So I, I don't feel know. like she could. Yeah, I just feel like I believe in her. Since Nyx is a hundred percent Rosa from uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine, you know. Um. Oh my gosh! No, I can't think. You, you got, I have another person that could be good too, but I forget. Um, her name. Oh, I think uh, Ian McC McClellan would uh, really do Please. a good Zerd. <laughs> oh think, yeah. Uh, he would give it the gravitas a Zerd yes. he did. Um. You know, technically, I haven't been cast. Any big things, but I have you know auditioned for our Ghostbuster. Or like, <laughs> That's true. You, you did know, do that. I, um, fucking you know, several commercials, so I got to go with me. You know, as a as Toby. I would also take Samira Wiley for Rowan. Mm. I would also uh, Tom Holland, I guess. For oh, Toby, I guess. oh, that'd be good. Oh. How about Mads Mikkelsen for Luke? And he looks like he's <gasps> oh! all the time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's too. Bad. I, why did and, and you know what and oh my god now do you guys know that quote where Maz Mikkelsen is talking about how Rihanna asked him to be in a music video and he's like who's Rihanna and his kids are like you're so stupid you've got to do it <laughs> and, and he says after all I am the bitch and I'm just thinking of Luke and saying this you guys know what I'm talking about it's like the funniest fucking no. interview I'll send it to you it's really fucking funny please do I love him <laughs> I don't know I don't I can't think of anyone who would be. Who is, who's like who played a good like hot trashy girl? Right, uh, Tara it's Reed. The, no, <laughs> no, 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 it's not Tara Reed. It's the girl from uh, My Name's Earl, and um, she, well, is she sometimes oh, on? And from it's Always Sunny. Jeff Foxworthy. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I not Jeff Foxworthy. Girl on the sister on Always Sunny. She would yeah. be funny, but she's way old, older than Lonnie. Yeah. Not My like sister? she's old. Oh, Sweet D. Yeah, she'd be good. No, what's her name? She's hot as hell. And she's in Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. Oh Dirt. shit, I do know. Okay, Jamie oh, Presley. Yeah, Jamie Presley. Okay. Jamie Presley would be, be a really perfect good. Lonnie. Um, <laughs> she does like like Yeah, cuz she's got that twang. Uh, and just to wrap up the Matthew Morris questions, yes, you should bring your homemade salsa to GeeklyCon. Um, but make it wherever you want. Like, don't don't believe what the establishment tells you that you have so to make true. it at home for it to be homemade. <laughs> make it at someone else's home. Still counts. <laughs> don't tell them. Discordian Token says that Tessa Thompson would be a good Rowan. Yes, she agree. would. Oh, she's beautiful. She's like one of the most beautiful and human beings on the planet. So cool. I like her. Janelle oh. Monet as Steve. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, Zaret asks, uh, what's the nicest thing a fan has ever said to you? What's the best present you ever got? Uh, <laughs> what makes you happy today? Uh, I'm going to say any, every once in a while, not like every day, just every once in a while, we'll get an email from somebody that's like really touching and really sweet and yeah. really nice. And they say nice mm -hmm. things to us, which we don't really, you know, deserve. Um, <laughs> but it makes me feel extremely, extremely good. And yeah. um, I think that's the nicest thing that we've. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Absol absolutely. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's a. Uh, it'd be uh, 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 a breach of tr trust to go into any of the specifics, but um, well, let's just give a, a quick, broad thank you to everyone that has shared any of the the bullshit that you're going through. And uh, when you when the previous question was about 
did you guys see this show being what it is? Uh, you know, uh, we were thinking originally about downloads, but uh, or, or ads or whatever. But to be honest, I think the real thing that we never really thought was that people sending us things about it helping them. So we want to thank everyone that has sent um, those things in, and mm -hmm. we want to uh, send positive vibes your way and hope things are going much much better. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it means it means it means a lot. It it I think it stops all of us in our tracks <laughs> and kind of enters the cry zone. Uh, yeah, yeah, in, in a good yeah, way. A good, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, like, like in the way of like, this is really, really meaningful. And yeah. Thank you. Yeah. When I feel like also it's something that, I don't, and I don't know, maybe this is me, but I feel like a lot of times you can kind of get into your own head on something and say, oh, well, this is just something that the four or the five of us do. Four yeah. Of us. <laughs> five of us do because we're friends and we enjoy the game, but also like to hear that it does mean a lot that it actually is meaningful to people and it's not just some dumb game we play yeah know? exactly mm -hmm. yeah 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 because like i think we're oddly pretty good <laughs> at just thinking that the reviews are part of the process even though i think that technically is the most banana pancakes thing on the planet oh yeah like we're pretty good at pretending that those aren't real people Yes. Um, but which is wrong. <laughs> this is the wrong way to approach it. But the uh, emails that we occasionally get have been, you know, just like, oh shit, more than five people download this podcast. <laughs> and I mean that meaning. That means two people download it because I know Jennifer doesn't download it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I download it every once in a while. No. <laughs> yeah, subscribe. subscribe is not that hard. I know I am. I'm subscribed. <laughs> I should do it uh -huh. now that I have a big iPhone. Jesus. Just set up your app to delete all apps. <laughs> Along those same lines, uh, Mixernally Galario93 asks, mm, uh, when you look back on all the Drunks and Dragons, when you look back on all that Drunks and Dragons slash Geekly Inc. Geekly Inc., oh my god, has achieved, what is your favorite sandwich and how many times has your favorite <laughs> sandwich changed? Oh. That's oh, wow. That's a good question. Okay, I know what my favorite sandwich is, and I don't want anyone to give me shit about it. I love it. I've eaten it since I've been a kid, and it's changed maybe once in the past 20 years. I really like to fuck up a foot long turkey sub from Subway. Man. I don't I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I fucking love Subway. Yes. I, yeah, I, like, yes. I like Subway. I, I love this. I like a turkey sub with American cheese, lettuce, extra black olives extra banana peppers and the most god awful amount of pickles ever and they can't shut it they can't shut the sandwich and that's how <laughs> i want it and that is my favorite sandwich and the only thing that i've added to it was the banana peppers like i said maybe 10 15 years ago when i found out that they are amazing okay wait Nika, i'm happy for you i would not eat that sandwich but i'm glad i'm Nika, happy for you how that brave of you to say Literally the worst sandwich I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> no, it's so good. Okay, I also have. A you start wait, no, no, no. You can't. Thing. We can't move on from the sandwich. I need you to back up for a second. Yeah. You said they cannot shut the sandwich. Do you shut the sandwich? And well, if so, cry. how do you shut it differently than the person behind the counter? The they sandwich, die. the sandwich, okay. board certified sandwich you. artist. I oh, know you're an artist, but okay. darling. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I. Whenever I was really young, I always wanted to work at Subway so I could be a Subway artist. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was actually going to ask whatever I wanted to do. I wanted, to, I wanted to be a Subway artist. I also like um, <sighs> spicy mustard and tomatoes. And so it makes it really hard to close the sandwich without the thing spilling out. So whenever mm, I get true. home. Too sloppy. I have, yeah, because they just try to cram it all in there. They don't yeah. know how to shut my sandwich because no one's prepared for the amount of pickles on my no sandwich. No one does. Like, no one does. Can't it's unknowable. And you're like, it's Eldritch. keep putting them on. I'll take a picture next time so you oh guys know. God. I'm not fucking with you with like, the pickles. The algorithm to determine how to shut a sandwich with that many pickles is what they use for CPU <laughs> stress tests at Intel. Yeah. <laughs> it's that meme of, um, who is it? Oh my God. It's the older lady and her face is up and she's got the math equations all yeah. over uh -huh. that's the sub or that's yeah. the sandwich artist trying yeah. to figure out how to shut my sandwich possible. damn it nika Sorry. Um, that sandwich <laughs> sucks that's a bad sandwich it's so good <laughs> i thought it would be like a hey, bologna which is kind Delicious. of my answer or like peanut butter and jelly peanut butter and jelly is wait that's your answer 
And what my no, answer mine was a bad sandwich. Peanut butter jelly is delicious. Is my delicious. answer is any sandwich that Tim makes for me, because Tim is better at making sandwiches than me. <clears> and <throat> this is this is a this is just a fact. But number two would be the chicken salad sandwich from oh. Al's in Boston. That shit. Cornucopia is better. No, but, really. Yeah. It's smaller. What the fuck? They have bacon. Or anything from Sam LaGrasse's in Boston. Their That's their true. Chipotle Reuben is fucking incredible. If you're uh, in Boston, you've got to go like to Sam LaGrasse's. Ruben. Reuben's a good sandwich. Michael, if you're in, when you get to Boston next, you need to eat a Sam LaGrasse. <coughs> it's so good. Yeah, I think the most embarrassing, because I don't consider peanut butter and jelly embarrassing, uh, would be bologna. Bologna's delicious. Bologna's so good. It's, it's objectively good. So I don't t- like know if I've ever had bologna. I think fuck off! Yeah. I'm scared of it. It's it's not great. Mustard on it. It's You're good. good. I don't like Listen, mustard. Definitely. I like any what? gross meat. Salamis, bolognese, yeah. all of it. <laughs> if dogs. it's full mm. of nitrates, give it to me. That shit. <laughs> I was. I lived in a trailer when I was a, a baby. That's a beat. And I that I like gross meat. I'm sorry. Like I if you don't like, here's a chicken breast. And I fuck I off. Like, I hate it. I like just putrid old gross meat. Like, like what's the other stuff? Mortadella. Like oh yeah. All that, like, fat, the all fattest loaf. meat. But, like, you know, get the fuck out of here with your nah, all over. I wouldn't eat all over. You're not like all over. There is a lot of Oh, God. Okay. No, okay. That's, that's too far. I do have to say my other favorite sandwich would be the lobster roll from, uh, what is it, J.B. Oh, Hook? Shit. Oh, yeah, I uh, dream Hook about that. Awesome. I think that's why I'm actually having such bad depression as I didn't get my lobster roll for the year. <laughs> <laughs> you need that dose of lobster. I do. Um, uh, banh mi is pretty good. Oh, banh mi's oh, yeah. are really good. Oh, man. There's too many good sandwiches, in my opinion. I've, I've got a it's sandwich right. I like if you don't want to. Michael, please tell All us right, about your on. sandwich. Oh, fuck, man. Tell us your sandwich. Uh, well, okay. So I got two. Um, one was my favorite, and it was, I really like the, the Italian at Panera because it was like, mm. they had, it was like a big fucking sandwich, and it was on ciabatta. And it was like, you know, just even though it was an Italian and they put a they put a like a whole banana pepper in the middle of it. And it was just really yeah. good. And then at some point they took the banana pepper out because I know why, because I had the same question about the Greek salad. They took the banana peppers away. It's because they <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's because I really like my pickled things. Yeah. Um, they aren't uh the whole food or not processed or natural, whatever the whole thing Panera is going for. So they had to take them away. Oh, well, that's fucking dumb. It's but they up. took that away. And then they changed the bread to like just some generic ass, like Italian, like loaf. And then they like, uh, they put the banana pepper back in for a little bit and then it was gone again. And then now they have like some weird, like bruschetta bullshit in it. And I'm just like, Nope, I'm done with this. Not doing it anymore. You texted me too much. <laughs> but I'll tell you what my subway, what my subway deal is since we're on that. Um, I get Meatball. I get the BMT on flatbread with Ooh. banana peppers, black olives, uh, some red onions, and some Chipotle oh, Southwest man. sauce. A little bit of pepper jack. That's oh, good. That it's sounds a, good. It's All a right, good so sandwich. this is the last episode of Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one <laughs> finally. The bad sandwiches. So oh. if you live in a city. Don't eat Subway. That's my answer. Okay, I, I don't live in a city, Tim. Yeah, I don't live in <laughs> a big city. <laughs> put, bringing out this whole like holier than thou, naming these local shops that only I'm a people in Boston. Elite. I really like. I really like Jerry Laflange from you know down here. <laughs> I love on... when my meat has meat. No, I'm just uh, Michael. Next question before we ruin our show. <laughs> next question. Uh, what is the? Uh, this is from Peg Leg Pete. Jerry uh, Laflange. As you do. What is the most misunderstood thing about your characters, and who is your most misunderstood character? You guys have misunderstood characters. Aludra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bananas. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to like original Harper, which I don't think people understood. Oh, He's I. He's supposed understood. to be a foil <laughs> to fucking crazy ass. <laughs> Tom and indecisive Aludra. He's supposed to be kind of shitty. That's my answer. People think Aludra has a beard, and that's not true. <laughs> I think you put Aludra's voice on to say it. Yeah, I, did. I like instantly went back into it. I couldn't help it. Um, and Aludra likes more food than just burritos and bacon. She's got a wide range of foods that she likes. <laughs> Basically, all of them. Damn. <laughs> uh, Jet Razor, I think, really. 
I was <laughs> trying. I a hundred percent. I feel like I can. I can say this now that I was a hundred percent trying to get Michael to set up a redemption arc <laughs> for Jet Razor. <laughs> I was um, like, no, <laughs> the whole shit. The whole shit with his dad. Like, he came up with, like, a, what, a statue of his dad or something that was actually mm-hmm. his real dad or whatever. Yeah. And they find out, yeah, his dad was just shitty the whole time. And, you know, like, he didn't mean it. And then then he then Nika killed him, so. What a turn on his? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not saying that you didn't have every reason to. Uh, <laughs> just saying. Beef, cast, that, beef, you know, cast, beef, no. cast. No, and it's, it's not a beef. It's not a beef. I, I kind of didn't like... like playing him anymore, so it's probably a good thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't hold the accent. <laughs> he really? He didn't help me, no. Really? Yeah. I couldn't well, hold all of the accents. You're saying this out loud. <laughs> Fuck. I don't feel like I have anyone that's misunderstood. I actually feel like probably the listeners understand my characters more than I do. <laughs> Um, especially like, Sam, yeah. he has like he'll message me and he's got the most insightful things. And I'm like, oh my god, yeah, that makes sense. And it's like, I like it. I, I don't, I, I don't want to get deep, but you know, a little behind the curtain, you were, you you were uh, unexcited about uh, Dark Jayla, and well, I, I think that was probably the biggest thing of where we all love Dark Jayla, but you're <laughs> like. I don't know, man. It was just too. So, she was too powerful to channel through you. Well, so what? I I love playing characters like Dark Jayla, and whenever I'm in a good headspace, that's a really good character to play. Um, but that was also whenever I wanted to switch. It was because um, real talk, my depression started getting a lot worse, mm-hmm. and so it was not as conducive to role playing and interacting to play someone who's supposed to be moody and off putting because yeah. then it made me just act like an asshole. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I very much love dark Jayla and I would love to bring her back whenever my brain is all better. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I always liked her and I never felt any of that negativity that you're mentioning. If that helps at all. I think, I think too, something that I've been thinking a lot about just in general recently with like media is how, I think that sometimes authors will put things into, or like creators will put things into um, what they're making, not intentionally, but it's still there. Um, and I think that is very true for characters I've played. It's like, it, it's coming from me so naturally that I'm not doing it intentionally, but it is real. Like you yeah. actually love burritos. I, I Well, that is true. <laughs> um, no, I, got, I think it's, it's, a little bit death of the author, but also recognition of the author, like in a way, like. What are you referring to, though? I, well, I think that one thing I think about is not like I didn't. I'm gonna get real on y'all for a second. Oh, not like I didn't. I knew I was bi, but I didn't really like accept it very much. But until I was playing Ludra as V with Jayla, like I feel like that was like a big thing for me, and I didn't like really set out to do that, but it became mm-hmm. like. Uh, a big part of me like accepting that about myself so it like flowed out yeah. kind of unintentionally it's kind of curious and interesting to see how tabletop role-playing games are actually so good for folks you know on the extreme end who have you know trauma things like that to, to work through it but on the easier end to be like here is me playing something that uh, my not lived experience. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's, it it helps them see how other people live. And sometimes it it helps them be like, Oh shit, my opinions are more broad. So I think it also allows you to like, be like, Oh, this isn't really me. And I'm going to explore this space. Yeah. Like just kidding. It is really. Oh yeah. It's like every, (laughs) every, every dude that comes to geekly con is like, gay for the stay but doesn't you know <laughs> they get, it's like well yeah you know it's geekly con not a big deal <laughs> i don't know I, I i've just been thinking about it like when i will watch different like shows and things and be like this is like really gay and it's like oh but the, the author mean it that way i'm like sometimes that shit comes out even if you don't intend it mm-hmm. and it still is real <laughs> why do That's you think the saying. rp was so good with it exactly <laughs> <laughs> anyway oh, Anyone else want to answer this bad boy? I'm okay. Get everybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, somebody named Spud Cam asked. Who's that? What a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, tell us about a time when you were the least prepared for one of your sessions. How did you manage? <laughs> what advice would you give other DMs facing the same situation? I think you can go for both DMs and players, probably, right? <laughs> I've always been 100% prepared, I think, so... Tim's going to walk away again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that, I mean, you know, I've there's definitely been times when I haven't been prepared. I usually like to prepare a little bit. I usually, and if you have like a big outline that covers more than just, you know, the next three sessions or whatever, then that helps a lot too. But uh, there are definitely episodes and you can find them where I just ask the players a lot of questions about how their character's feeling and what the character's doing and does their character want to say anything to another character and things like that. And uh, yeah, it's a good good time to get some role playing in. Explore your inner mm. uh, character. Yeah. Yeah, I think for myself, like as far as like not feeling ready as a character, I think I struggle with a lot in juggling the fact that I have a nine to five job that sometimes is more than nine to five and it's stressful and my brain space isn't right is is like getting myself like sometimes you just kind of have to throw yourself into it like you do like there there have been so many times when we've recorded this that I am like man I got nothing left in the tank at all um, and I do think that sometimes I am able to pull I, I enter this like tired zone that goes into like creativity sometimes that like I enter a weird brain space that's really good sometimes. That's what I'm saying. I, Tim is mad at us for not. I will not an respond to what you're saying except for nod giffily. Um, but sometimes you're just tired, <laughs> and sometimes like I feel like I've been struggling recently to like really get into character what I play, and I've been like thinking a lot of like what does Rowan want, like what's her motivation, like what's going on, and. I don't, I don't want to be unprepared when I come in. I try to like look over my character sheet, like try to think about like what's motivating, like what kinds of things that she would say and care about and do. Like mm -hmm. I, I try not to be unprepared in that sense. Yeah, as a player, you have to do so little compared to the DM that it's uh, it's not like a big ask to show up. So yeah, no, I don't ever feel unprepared. Um, it's obviously a different beast because we have to be entertaining for both the stream yes. and uh, for the podcast as a whole. But, you know, uh, I'm very lucky that Norhal, the players there are banana pancakes, uh, <laughs> run with just fighting each other. So I don't have to prepare anything because they'll just run away with it. Golly, man. Um, boop, 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 boop. There's so many questions. Uh, the Brit Baker asks, where do you look for inspiration or motivations for your character's backstories? Mm. You guys look for backstory inspiration? I feel yeah. like I've been talking too much. I want to hear Nika and Bachman talk because I talk. <laughs> Usually for characters, I try to... I'll do like one of two things. Usually actually making the characters the last thing I do. I'll find a picture first or I'll try to come up with some sort of story. And I always try to play something and have a backstory that I haven't done before. So I will use inspiration from shows or books or whatever just kind of media that I'm looking at to get like little like tidbits that I can throw in there. Like Lonnie's backstory is very influenced by Florida man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's so fucking good. <laughs> and so like, I try to find something that I'm like really drawn to that. I'm like, okay, I can elaborate on all of this and how can I kind of push this out and make it viable for a role-playing character that I can play for years. <laughs> I, I, for me, I, whenever I need to make a character, I think what shows or things that I've been reading recently that had characters that I really liked a lot. And I think about like how I can, like what traits do I like about those characters and see how I can like break and stun them into a character that I can play and like, <laughs> but, it, it, but it helps just, it helps me get me, in, like, they never end up being like exact copies or anything, but it helps me yeah. get inspired. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why it's important to like consume art when you're trying to make things because yeah. you need yeah. that input 
usually I'll wait till like the eleventh hour, and then <laughs> I mean that I I'm not like I'm not making a joke about me being unprepared, which I usually am. But what I what I like to do honestly is um, wait till the eleventh hour and find like find like one unreasonable thing to like to latch onto, mm-hmm. like you know like you were saying earlier with like the the class the the you know the character being called a skill monkey and i was like oh yeah no he's absolutely a monkey and like everything else about bananas is just a fucking tree that branches out from this one point um like a chain of reasoning and i i I do that with pretty much all of my characters i find something that like you know i looked at i looked at like a warlock and um i like when i was doing uh, bear charger i looked at like a warlock minotaur and i was like i was like oh he's got got an implement weapon and i'm like well if it's if it's a minotaur it could just be its horns and i'm like well yeah but if his horns are like attached to him like why is that a thing and then that you know right right next thing i know this guy's fucking dumb as hell (laughs) (laughs) and like and like i had that i had his like whole arc planned out to his death which admittedly was like an episode but like (laughs) you know i it's it just comes from like getting that one core idea that you really like and then just building on it from there. Um, well, just a couple more. Uh, Cake or XY, maybe that's their name. They're very, uh, they pointed out that in Arc 2, Calston is described as the jewel of the West. Oh! <laughs> and, uh, are there jewels of the South and North? Of course. Oh, not. golly. I can't. No, well, now, I'm, well, now, now we got to go find them. I want to go find the jewel of the North and South. Jesus. Uh, and they also ask, why do Tim's characters all start with the letter T? The name start with the letter T. Hey, Harper. <laughs> Harper. <laughs> Titus. 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 Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Uh, it's just something that I, I, I did uh, that I think is fun. My first D&D character's name was Teshar. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I then I did Tum. Um, Tum was an accident because I wanted to be called Darkblade. And I thought Tum was such a hilarious like um um first ninja's name so with that i feel like you were goofing on like what's tim but not tim yeah and then, yeah and then after it happened twice i was like well you know um one's one's accident two is a coincidence three is a pattern let's do this sorry that was the very last bit of my drink so that was all she made, she made a lot of face it was funny do you have sorry. any you go, or... <laughs> no i'm sorry all right Oh boy, I'm there's so many of these guys. Um I Let's only, save for next only just got got, got a couple more. <laughs> only just got to Hugo's. Um he asked what NPC would you ship your character with? <gasps> oh shit. What who with what what what, what NPC would you ship your current character with, I'll say. Oh god. I think that Rowan would know this is a bad idea. But if you put her in a room with Adira Harper, she's going after it. <laughs> Isn't that her sister? I, I, Wait, no, sister in law. Sister, yeah. sister, sister, Wait. sister. No, no. sister in law. Sister in law. Yeah, it's okay. Harper's. Okay. Yeah. She makes bad decisions. It's I weird. thought they were okay. No, no, because no, it's, it's, she's it's, uh, it's, it's... Ashley R. Dane's. Oh, sister. yes. Okay, Ashley's... I get those too. Uh, Wait, no, Adira is Harper's. Sister, right? So not blood related to not blood related related at all. At all. Thank, you. but still a little weird. It, okay. it, I'm not. How brave it? of you? Yeah, thank you. Okay, final question. Uh, Harper's favorite treat was ancient creme brulee. What is Toby's <laughs> favorite treat? <gasps> Toby's favorite treat is probably. A, a very um, overly done strawberry tort, Ooh. I would say. With all uh, the little, like, strawberries done perfectly. Yeah, around the yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, like, fancy. some of... Like, yeah, they're, like, exactly. shiny. They have they're that, very like, shiny, shiny. stuff on top. Um, Toby's family is in the confectionery business. So he's seen it all. He's seen it all. So he kind of like uh, leans into the more classical flavors of fruit um, and, and stuff like that. So I think a, a um, anywhere from a, a strawberry shortcake to a strawberry uh, tort would be his favorite. That was from Four of Five Wits, by the way. That's- oh, cool. 
Whew. There's still a lot more, but I think that's all we can we mm -hmm. can muster. We'll thank them for later. We won't. We'll forget them we'll and then ask you to ask them again. So maybe you should bank them. Like if you remember what you asked <laughs> and you want, maybe just maybe you should email them to us with mailbag in the title. We no? won't. No, we will no. not just, remember. Just <laughs> if it's a specific uh, player question, though, I'm sure they could just tweet it at us. Or you can just tweet here's, it. Yeah, totally. Here's some yeah. things you can do. You can tweet no. it at us, mail it at it. You can call us on the phone. All of our numbers are in the show notes. Um, <laughs> you can come to our house and hand them to us on a napkin. Yeah, um, <laughs> and we will we will wipe our faces with it and then maybe read your question to the, ourselves. The other hosts are lying to you. I the do only answer way, people's questions if they The tweet only it. way yeah. to get on one of these episodes is to wait to when we realize we have to record oh, I'm one. Oh, I'm talking about an episode. I'm talking the about the day people. before and then look out for the tweet. So follow us on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, what well, like Tim just said. Um, you can do it on Twitter, like Tim just said, uh, at Geekly Anchor at DD Podcast. I'm at Thrifty Nerd. I'm at Tim Lanning. I'm at Jennifer Cheek. I'm at Nika underscore Howard. I'm at the Mike Bachman. Didn't get your fill of action and adventure in this episode of Drunks and Dragons? It was a mailbag. Well, make sure to head over to geeklyinc.com where you can find other thrilling podcasts, the hottest nerd news, fan art to make you blush, and gear to level up your adventuring quest. When you've finished asking us your deepest questions, head on over to Apple Podcast or your other podcast app of choice to leave us a five-star rating and review. Also, don't forget to head over to patreon.com slash podcast. Once you become a patron, you have access to exclusive content like ad-free episodes that you won't be able to find anywhere else. Every pledge helps us keep growing and makes the show better with each episode. New episodes come out every Monday, so go subscribe, get your quest log filled, and get ready for things to get dicey. Did you know that Spotify is now the number two podcast place? Really? What? I believe it. Apparently. That's what they told us. Um, so that's good. Um, hey, guys. We'll see you next week. Until then, keep it dicey. Ooh. Are you sure it's not Tidal? Hmm? Oh, Tidal. Yeah. Y'all remember Tidal? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, it's okay. just, just a little joke. Going? Uh, stirp and export. Stop and export. Stop and export. Are right, you guys ready to do the episode now? <laughs> uh, deuces. <laughs> Bob is like, I'm out. Are we doing what, this? What are we as... calling it? Yeah. Are we numbering it? Or I already have a D and D mailbag. I think we've numbered them in the past. Two sixty-five. Two sixty-six. I think. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Yeah. Yeah. No, I have a 265. I do not. Uh oh. That's mm, you've been cut out of an episode. I'm gonna call it 266. I'm gonna look on the website. I don't want to overwrite. Oh, okay, I do. I did my 265 weird, so I fucked it up. So it's 266. 266. 266. Sorry. Sorry. Lav or Obvorbis? That's a, <laughs> that's a classic joke that we all love every single time. Um, I have a very silly thing planned for next time. Yay. I just want you all to know that. Is it a skill challenge? <laughs> it might involve some challenging skills. Oh. Not this one. I actually. Shit. Cool. What? The dude that's in charge of Westworld's collection is that weird dude from Vikings that we we've only seen oh. like three episodes, but it's Floki. Nice. It's weird. Oh, that's he a Swiss, like he's... or a Swiss, or not a Swiss guard. Um, Skarsgard. He is. What? Yeah. He's in the Skarsgard family. My goodness. Good for that's him. So prolific. Oh yes. Um, head vase, it does. There's every episode is on Spotify. I promise. I promise you, they're all on there. Yeah, they're all there. You just have to. I have no idea why they're not showing up. It's Spotify is not very good at it. The search is bad. Yeah, Tim, are you gonna buy a suit of armor from the Warcraft movie? They're pretty cheap. I've looked, <laughs> yeah, it's like 600 bucks. I mean, uh, honestly, that wait, is pretty what? cheap. Uh, they, they're selling props from the Warcraft movie because they're never making another one. Oh, that movie was so good. Well, they, I guess they make it yeah. crap. If you got really <laughs> fucked up, that movie was good. <laughs> the movie's I actually really, it. really bad, and I love Warcraft, but the movie sucks.
But you can get like uh I mean you can get a fucking uh you can get King King Lane's battle armor for well, I guess it's up to three thousand dollars now. But yeah, some of the, some it's of the stuff still we, not as much as I would think because Warcraft yeah. fans are fucking dumb. Yeah, no, they'll buy like the game for a thousand dollars, you know. But yeah, no, there's some stuff in there that are very cheap, but a lot of it is like Stormwind guards because they had needed like a hundred Stormwind guards, so they're yeah. only six hundred bucks. But that would be cool though if you really loved the movie. Yeah, and it's not like that expensive for what it is. It's literally like in the name description, it's like this actor was inside of this. Damn. <gasps> oh, that'd be cool. I'd buy it. No, that's, that's, that's weird. weird. I actually that's have so a little plaque on my back that says which actors have been inside of me, too. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. That's dope, man. I mean, I imagine if you're going to buy a suit of armor to like go to a Ren Fest or something like that or do some sort of cosplaying or whatever, it would probably cost more than $600. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Sure. It's It's kind of crazy. You know, but I'll put the link in the chat for any of you doofuses with money. Thanks, Twitch, for the uh, yeah. hangout zone. I love you. You're very pretty. You look great today. Uh, we're only doing one episode, yeah. and we have no idea when we're streaming again, or if um, we're gonna figure it out, tomorrow, or if we ever hopefully. will stream again. But <laughs> thank you so much. We're gonna stream again. Okay, I'm gonna take the stream down. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.